What's good, YouTube? Hope all is well with you. It's been a long time. This is The Valiant Sense. Welcome back to my channel. Um, yeah, for those of you who, who watched the uh, spring video, the top five uh, fragrances for spring earlier this year in 2020, uh, you know what I had to deal with. I explained that. And, um, <clears throat> you know, I was saying I hope that that issue wouldn't come back again, but it did. It did come back again and uh, had to fight it off in a lot of days where um, it just weren't good days for me. Um, but uh, like I always say, believe until you stop breathing. And that's what I, like I said, I live by. Uh, I'm a little better now, um, physically, um, healing and all that good stuff. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's one of those things where, you know, that compiled with, uh, you know, what we're going on, uh, what's going on in today's world uh, right now, what everybody's dealing with, that combined with my um, personal life-threatening issue, um, you know, things have, things have been rough, but you know what, I, like I said, I keep fighting, I keep on trying, um, never going to stop doing that, that's part of my motto, believe until you stop breathing, you put it into action, and you persevere, you do whatever you have to do, and I'm never going to stop, I, you know, I I, I, I wish I could give you consistent videos right now the way YouTube wants, but, you know, life just isn't at that point for me. Um, but I'm doing what I can. I'm definitely doing what I can. I got some other things in the, in the works, um, and I'm trying to trying to help uh, myself, help my family, um, doing a lot of things, trying to, to make it out here um, through my uh, personal dreams and goals. And uh, like I said, I'm going to keep <clears throat> going, keep pushing, never going to stop. Um, even if it isn't consistent, I'm working toward being consistent in everything. Um, but for right now, I'm doing what I can and uh, still trying to heal up and still trying to, uh, you know, be better physically, uh, emotionally, spiritually, mentally as well. So um, without further ado, we're getting into what this video is about, and that is Scent Explorer. Scent Explorer 2020 was yesterday. And uh, it was the virtual, virtual, of course. Um, and so I purchased a ticket for that. It was $29. And for $29, you get to um, attend the virtual event via Zoom. Uh, we got to see a lot of um, <coughs> creators, content creators, as well as, um, <coughs> excuse me. We got to see a lot of content creators, as well as, um, uh, the makers and creators of a lot of fragrance brands and their represent and or their representatives. So um, definitely um, was enjoying that. Got to see um, Big Bear Business on a panel. I uh, got to see Justin Copeland on a panel uh, and a couple other um, guys that I uh, admire. Um, Max Forty was the uh, like the moderator, kind of the leader of the whole thing. Shout out to Max Forty for for. For his role in Scent Explorer, uh, I do um, appreciate his videos. He's very informative, very, very kind to people. Um, I really enjoyed his um, interview uh, with Chris Collins. Um, so just Max Forte is just doing a really great job amongst a lot of other guys um, that I do and ladies that I do admire in the fragrance community. Um, so along with purchasing for $29 a virtual event, you get this scent explorer goodie bag or gift bag or whatever you want to call it um, so there it is right there it came in the package scent explorer and so this is kind of the reveal uh, I looked in the in uh, the bag and saw what it is um, that uh, that was in there and I was like you know what I might as well share this with everybody else all the people who um, Maybe didn't get to go or didn't even know about it. So um, here we go in just a minute. <clears throat> Need us some water. <clears throat> So here we go with the reveal for Scent Explorer here. Just open the bag. Uh, 
Um, first of all, you have a lot of these in there. The test strips. Test strips. There's Scent Explorer. Get the light there. Scent Explorer test strips for the samples that are in here. Look at this. Another test strip. Okay. Make sure there's nothing else in there. All right. In the bag. Let me give you the bag really quick. Really nice, nice red bag. Scent Explorer 2020. And let's see what we have here. And a lot of these were from um, a lot of these brands here. They uh, had the panelists uh, for, that were representing the brand. They were uh, on panels and uh, were interviewed and you know explained the, the history of their brands um, and some uh, up and coming events that they have and fragrances that are coming out for 2021. And so that was uh, definitely um, informative and entertaining. I'm going to start off with the one that just draws my eye the most because I like the brand. And that is Amouage. So this is Amouage Meander. The House of Amouage. And the fragrance is called Meander. So you can see them all junky here. So let's open this one up. And of course on the inside it's got meander. It's got a description there. It talks about uh, how they came about with this fragrance, this particular fragrance. So we're going to try meander. Test strips here. There we go. Getting the Fresh and clean scent. Fresh, clean, green scents with this one. So I'm pretty sure the bottle will look something like this or have something like this color. Or at least the box will. If you buy the bottle, or definitely want to sample it first. If you buy uh, the bottle and you could, you get the box, it'll probably look like this. Um, just from first impression, you're gonna get fresh, clean green, but also aromatic. I think that's uh, intriguing because most fresh, clean, and most green scents are not also aromatic as well, usually, from what I've experienced. All right, so that's a fresh, clean, green, and also aromatic. It's nice for, I'll put it over here. From the House of Amouage, once again, You guys got it the first time. Right, put it back in its little slot here. 
Probably gonna have to make a two-part video to this because I don't want this video to be extremely long, but we'll see what we have here. All right, look at this here. We've got, I think this is the name of the house. From the house of Wilhelm Parfumery. Wilhelm Parfumery. And this is Morning Chess. Morning, morning Chess. Eau de Parfum. So. Nice yellow cap sprayer on the sampler. Let's take another test strip here. Make sure it's a singular one strip. A much better sprayer than the first one. This one I'm getting a fresh, and fruity, and fruity, era, aromatic. Definitely a daytime scent. Well, I want to say peach. I can, I can smell peaches in it. Definitely fresh and fruity and also Slightly aromatic, I'll say. All right, that's nice. So this is, again, from the house of Wilhelm Parfumery. Wilhelm Parfumery, this is Morning Chess. Looks pretty good. All right, let's see what we got now. Oh, okay. I don't know if you can see that. Just box. Just box. Parfums. Just a little word that's inscribed down there. Just box parfums. Parfums. And we'll see. Let's see here. It says Beat Cafe, so I'm guessing that's what the name of the fragrance is. So, comes in this little box here, or what you can call it like an envelope. Just box. And there's the full bottle fragrance look. I'm guessing these are. The notes, top notes, black pepper, coriander seed, fine cognac accord. In the middle, we have cyst labdanum, black leather and tobacco. And in the base, you have vetiver, cedar wood, and benzoin balm. Benzoin balm. So let's try this one out. A little sprayer. Oh, there it is. Opening. Yeah, enough of it. Of the strip, anyway. Oh, this one's, this one's really nice. Definitely got the black pepper, got the cognac, because the booziness is coming off right off the top. 
I'm curious to see how this one, very curious to see how this one develops when it gets to the mid and the dry down. That's very nice. Pepper, I don't like the pepper to be very strong, but it was uh, also um, one of those things where, you know, I get it, you know, they want to make it spicy and whatnot. But um, the pepper is definitely there. But then the cognac is coming through very nice. Cognac's coming through very nice. Nice and Brazilian. Yeah, so as far as the mid, I've never seen tobacco in the mid. Now maybe it's just me. I've always seen tobacco in the dry down. Or maybe in the top. I've never really seen it in the mid. Yeah. Curious to see how this one smells on the skin. So definitely, definitely I'm gonna put this put this little thing back on here. Ah, there you go. Clips back on. Definitely curious to see how that one's gonna be on the skin. All right, what have we got next here? Uh, let's go with let's go with this one. I definitely uh, I remember seeing this. Uh, the lady who was uh, representing uh, Kieran NYC. Kieran NYC. And the name of the fragrance is Rose Ink. I saw her uh, interview when she was on the panel and talking about the brand. Um, so she had a good interview. Top notes are saffron and cas cases or cassis. Uh, mid is damask rose, and the base is cedarwood and crisp amber. It's supposed to be a unisex fragrance. As far as I know, uh, so far all these are unisex fragrances. None of them said for for men or for women just yet. But here's the. Here's the art there. First I was like, okay, it's a rose, but they have something over the top of it, but it's called Rose Ink. So let's try that one. Or this one, rather. Very easy sprayer, that one was really easy. Rose coming through automatically. Very pleasant though. Sure, if I can smell the saffron, I think I smell the cassis. The cassis and rose so far. This is a rose scent. I think that guys can pull off, um, as it is, you know, stated to be unisex. She stated this to be unisex in her interview. Um, yeah, it's a pleasant rose. It's a pleasant rose. I wouldn't necessarily call it, uh, it's, and it's literally right in the middle. I can't say this is masculine, but I can't say this is overly feminine either. So, I'm thinking a guy or a lady can pull this one off. So, this one is truly unisex. Because on a, on a fresh, is a fresh clean, uh, like I said, the rose uplifts it, makes it very bright. Smelling definitely a daytime fragrance, definitely warm weather. I don't see you wearing this in cold weather, definitely spring or summer fragrance. And because of how light it is, I definitely would lean more towards summer even than spring. In spring, you gotta get like a relatively warm day, I would say, and this will work very nice. Very fresh, very cooling. For this one, so. Yeah, I definitely, this is definitely unisex right down the middle. Um, I'm thinking a guy or a girl, uh, a man or a woman could pull this off. Um, and that's Rose Ink 
from the House of Kieran, NYC. Put that back in the slot. All right, next we have, let's go with, oh, let's go with Boys. I remember their interview. Boys 1920, and they, um, right there, they describe, this is uh, from the House of Boys 1920, this is Elite Four. Um, and I remember the, uh, the representative for Boys talking about the brand, and I forgot just what he said. Um, B.O. was for, I can't remember what he said, and then I was for Italian, and then S, I can't, man, I can't remember, so much information. But he was describing that, describing the history of the brand, um, describing, you know, the new, again, things that they have coming out. That's a nice card there, I mean, as far as for the sample, if the bottle looks anything like this. I'm like, man, it's gonna be attractive. Just, just the bottle. If it looks anything like this, is gonna be very attractive to buy for a lot of people. Um, the reading here on the inside, the right side's in English. The left side is in another language. I'm guessing. No, I don't want to guess. I'm gonna be wrong or insult anybody. Talks about the ingredients, but not necessarily the notes here on the back. All right, let's give it a whirl. Give it the old college try. I'm go with this thumb this time. Ooh, I had to spray that quite a few times just to get it on there, but I think there's a sprayer for a sample, but hey, it's just a sample. Hopefully the bottle is better. Definitely getting a fresh vibe. Fresh and clean. Minty. Minty's jumping out, jumping out pretty strong, but not, let me take that back, not, 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 not in the sense like it's overpowering, but it's really jumping out to the forefront, we'll just say that. Yeah, so fresh, clean. Care, very curious to see how this one develops on the skin too. Fresh, clean, minty. That's about all I'm getting off the test strip. But of course, you know, you always want to test things on your skin afterward. If you want to test things on the test strip first, that's fine. But eventually, you're gonna to have to put it on the skin to see how it works with your chemistry. But definitely I see this as a warm weather fragrance, spring and summer. Like I said, fresh, clean, and minty. It jumps out to the forefront, but it's not overpowering. It's very nice. Definitely curious to see how this one develops on the skin. So again, that was the boys, 1920. You know what, I'm gonna stop the uh, video right here as far as continuing we'll make this a part one and a part two because uh, this video is already going long so um we'll you know won't have the long intro in the next video so we'll get right into the fragrances for part two um but for part one i had to you know talk about why i was gone for so long and you know give you guys and ladies 
wanted to share this with you, share this experience with you. So again, this is boy. This is boys 1920 Elite Four, and we'll put that back in there. We'll put that right there. Let's make some room, and that will conclude just for this first video. Once again, believe until you stop breathing. Again, this is the Valiant Sense. Appreciate all my subscribers. Um, you know. We're definitely going to get things um, rolling as best we can. Um, we're not going to give up. Definitely going to keep pushing through. Um, not let anything stop me. It may slow me down. Um, and it's, you know, it's it's a life, life issue. So uh, I got to make sure I'm healthy. Got to make sure everything is working on the inside <laughs> properly. Uh, but again, believe it till you stop breathing. And we'll see you in the next video for part two of Scent Explorer 2020's uh, gift bag review.